It's interesting to see the marks of the fox. No digging. There's no chance she gets in.
staying up here for a little longer. Checked out of the Airbnb. I stayed there because I was not feeling well last week, but uh, yeah, there's probably a bit more snow coming and then traveling becomes very difficult up and down. So yesterday I had to put on the snow chains. And um, yeah, as soon as the floor is in, it's gonna be a lot easier because then I can do the kitchen and when that is connected with the water, I can uh, live in there. And now it's a bit up and down. Water's frozen here. That pipe I need to replace very soon because it's breaking apart. It's down there, I'm using that tap. That's still dripping. It's not that cold, a little bit under zero, but also uh, during the day. So these are the winter problems I had last year. In a few weeks, that's all over.
Another big pack of snow has fallen. It's been freezing all week. So it's been really nice to be inside. The stove is, works perfect. It's very stable temperature now inside. Um, I did two fires a day, but now I only do one fire and it's enough. Because it's gonna warm up again next week. So the snow might disappear again. But um, yeah, it's been nice inside. It's, it, to work inside with this kind of weather, it's just, it just makes everything easier. So um, I have to buy a few more pipes and connections and things for the plumbing. And then next week I can put the kitchen in place and connect gas and water. And then the kitchen is functioning. And from there it's a process of collecting things to decorate the place, right? Uh, it's a few big jobs like the floor downstairs needs to be done. I need to sand the floor upstairs and, and treat it with an oil or a coating. And then I can slowly decorate it, which is a, a nice uh, thing to do in winter. Take it slow, maybe pick up painting again when everything's in place. And um, yeah, it's going well.